Hi friends, this is Dinero Research and welcome to the part number 10 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. In the previous video we implemented Data Analyzer and now we know when to open positions and when to close them. Today we start working on Risk and Position Manager. So in this video we will implement risk management practices because they are simpler. We know that statistical arbitrage is not a risk-free trading strategy. And that is why we need stop losses. And our stop loss practice is pretty simple. If loss is greater than 15%, then we will close all positions. So let's start coding. I want to put everything that is related to trading into separate file, which I called trade.py. In this file we will create class, which we will call it trade. And now we will initialize constructor init self and in this constructor we will initialize properties and methods. So the first property we, I want is some kind of notification whether a position is opened or not. So we will call this property opened position and it will be equal to false. So once position would be opened, then we will change it back to true. Now let's go to main.py and use this open it position property in our trading conditions, which we defined in the previous video. But firstly, let's import our trade class. So from trade import trade Let's create object, trade equals to trade, and let's use this object in our trading conditions. As you remember in the previous video, they were pretty simple and primitive, and now we'll add certain complexity. So first check, we need to understand whether position is opened or not. So if position is not opened, which means if not trade, dot opened position we'll check this score and if this score is greater than 2 we'll short spread if this score is less than minus 2 we'll long spread and if position is already opened so else we'll check whether this score in the certain range and we have to decide whether to close spread or not. And here, when position is already opened, we have to check whether our loss is greater than 15%. So let's add another condition, so L if. Let's create some variable which we'll call PNL. And if PNL is less than minus 0.15, We'll also trigger command close spread. Okay, now let's try to work with this PNL variable. How do we calculate profit and loss? We have simultaneously opened two positions, one short and one long, which means we have to calculate profit and loss, loss uh, for each position separately and then add them. And in order to get profit and loss for each position, we need to know entry price and current price. So let's go to trade.py and add several more properties. The first two would be pairs, which, on which pair we have long position and on which pair we have short position. So self long equals to nothing for now and self self short also equals to nothing. The next thing is entry price. Long entry equals to zero for now and self short entry entry equals to zero. So once we open positions, 
So long and short will have certain values and long and short entries will also have certain values other than zero. And now let's create function which will make all these calculations. So def, let's call this function get pnl. This function will have following parameters like self, which is mandatory, and current price for pair where loan position is opened. Let's call it loan price. Current price for pair where short position is opened. Let's call it short price. Okay. And PNL equals to PNL of loan position, which equals to current price, so loan price, divided by loan position entry price, self loan entry, plus PNL of short position. So self short entry divided by short price. Short price. Also, we need to deduct exchange fees from uh, this uh, calculation. So minus 0. Point. Assuming that exchange fee for trade is 0.1% and for closing and opening position that would be 0.2 and since we have both two pairs that would be 0.4% so minus 0.0.4 great and finally let's return this PNL so return PNL okay let's save this part and let's go to main.py. At this point we have to get somehow current prices for pair 1 and pair 2. And I think for simplicity let's create pair 1 and pair 2 variables. So pair 1 equals to list data 0 and pair 2 equals to list data 1. And now let's use this data data frame to get current prices. Current price for pair 1. So pair 1 current equals to data pair 1 sorry pair 1 dot i add minus 1. And similarly for pair 2. So current price for pair 2 equals to data pair 2 i add minus 1. Now let's save entry prices and update other properties of trade object. So let's go to the condition where z score is greater than 2. In this point we have to short spread, which means Firstly, we have opened position. So let's update trade opened position property, which equals to true. Then that means we open short position on pair one. So trade short equals to pair one. So trade long equals to pair two. Then short price equals to current price of pair one. Let's okay, short entry and long entry. Trade short entry equals to pair one current price and long entry equals to pair two current price long entry pair to current price. Now let's copy this code to the condition where z score is less than minus 2. In this case we have also opened position but we open short on pair 2 and long on pair 1 
and short entry is this current price of pair 2 and long entry is current price of pair 1. Ok, and when we close positions we have to consider two options. The first option when we short pair 1 and long pair 2 and the second option when we do the opposite. So let's add another condition. If trade long equals to equals to pair 2 and trade short equals to pair 1 pair 1 and let's copy paste this for the option when we short pair 2 and long pair 1. So else if when we long pair 1 and short pair 2. Finally we are able to calculate PNL. For the first option PNL equals to trade get PL where long price equals to pair to current price and short price equals to pair 1 current price and in case of option 2 we'll do the opposite so long price equals to pair 1 current price and short price equals to pair 2 current price ok and the last thing we need to do in these conditions is to reset trade object properties. So let's create some function reset properties and call it after closing positions. Okay, here, here, and here. And let's define it. So define reset properties and we'll drop all these properties to the default values where open position equals to false, short pair name equals to nothing, long the same and short entry price equals to zero and long entry price equals to zero as well. Okay, that's enough for today. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!